Welcome back to the channel. My name is Noah and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Guys and girls, I should say, because I have a wide audience, a, a variety of different individuals who like to watch my videos. I'm here with Diesel, the Great Dane. He's my best friend. He's actually a hound mix. Um, and he has a little bit of an ear infection right now. So we're going to work that out a little bit. We're going to the vet uh, this week. But this video is about Battle Beaver controllers. I want to give a shout out to them for giving me that boosted shipping. Really meant a lot to me to get this controller soon, as quick as possible, to my front doorstep. Now, like this video, like it right now actually, give me a like, it really helps me out a lot. And also drop a comment below if you have a Battle Beaver controller already, or if you want to get one, I might have a discount code, I don't know. You know that feeling when you really want to like, get sponsored by a company, but you don't want to be too pushy about it? Um, well, sponsor me. Into the controller review. First and foremost, revolutionary, intuitive, precise. Battle Beaver controllers, the one-stop shop to your competitive gaming. Now, if you want a Battle Beaver controller, you should get it for a couple of different reasons. It's incredibly beneficial for competitive gaming, uh, and I'm going to explain in detail why you should get it over a scuff, over a cinch, and why you should use this over just a regular controller. It's incredibly beneficial and helpful in the in the long run. Uh, the long term, it, it, they last. This is my second one. So let's get into this review. Come in a PlayStation box, a controller box. It, it's pretty easy, it's pretty simple, but what's different is the stamp. Come on, focus on the stamp though. Whatever. I'm focusing my face because it's auto. It's auto focused on me. The stamp. So the Battle Beaver controller. Now the benefits of this controller is the buttons over the paddles. So Battle Beaver has a special kind of of program where instead of an actual paddle that can break this plastic or like the Vantage that has a lot of issues and errors, this has buttons. See them? You hear the click? It's a hard click. It's not like one of those uh, soft clicks where you're not sure if you're hitting it or you're not sure if it's working. You know if it's working because you're playing with it, clicking. Now, the benefit of this controller is that the left button, you can map these buttons on the back to the exact button that you want to use on the front. Meaning, if I want to have an easier time jump shotting in Call of Duty or using my special ability in Overwatch, I can map the left button to triangle for my ultimate move in, in Overwatch, or I can map the, the right button to my A but my crouch shot in Call of Duty, or a throw in Madden, or a pass in NBA. Now, the benefit of the button placement versus the paddles is that the, uh, the buttons lay exactly where your middle fingers lay or where your uh, uh, ring fingers lay or even where your pinkies lay. You can customize it. Now, focus, come on. I have them in the standard position. The standard position means that it's right where my hand fits the controller. You can measure it online. So when I put my hand on the controller, my middle fingers lay directly on the controller. It's extremely helpful. So when I'm holding it, I can hit that. Now, another great feature that they added onto this controller, trigger stops. They're not like the typical trigger stops, they're like a, a special smart trigger is what they call it. And it's the most beneficial, advanced mechanism in the entire world. Literally, the entire world. These trigger, trigger stops are 10 times faster than the initial trigger stop on a scuff on a regular controller or one of those attachment mods you get at GameStop for like $37,000. You'll hear it, so the buttons sound like this, right? The triggers, hear that? It's like a button clip. So I'm pushing the button down, come on, come on, there we go. That's all it's doing. That's all. It, it's a minimalist of a click. This helps with the, the swiftness of shooting and aiming in. So you can aim in like that. And you can you can fire your weapon like that. It's, oh, it's so good. So, just, I'm telling you, get, get the smart triggers. Get the smart triggers, okay? You can also get increased thumb tension. I know the controller itself is legal in tournament play. 
uh, if you have the smart trigger and you have the buttons, like the like the scuff has the paddles and the scuff has the trigger stops. Now, another great characteristics of the controller is that you can customize the thumbsticks to whatever you want. So I have them as the regular uh, concave standard edition PlayStation 4 controller thumbstick. But you can also add them in to get the Xbox One uh, thumbstick or the, the original dome thumbstick. So you can get one dome, one regular, or you can get one button uh, map there and this is a real trigger. Um, or you can get these mapped as triggers and you can get these remappable or you can get four buttons or you can get uh, a remappable programming chip so you can customize the program of each button every single time. So if you want to play one game, you remap this to one thing and you go to the next game, you remap this to another game. Insane, incredible, fantastic. Just get the battle beaver. I'm sorry. That was, that was too much. In all, I got this because I want to take my competitive gaming to the next level. I want to take it to the next level so I can be better, game harder, be stronger. And I just want to, you know, be, be better than everyone else. I find that the scuff, the paddles, and if you agree with this, comment below right now. I, I feel like the paddles on the scuff break easily. I've had the, the scuff for PS Pro, and I've had the scuff impact. Um, and I just didn't like them. I mean, the they didn't fit my hand. The regular the the paddles on the scuff 4PS are like right here, and it just like was a stretch, and I couldn't stretch my fingers. It hurt. It just was uncomfortable. The scuff impact felt more like a Xbox One controller, but it was kind of stretched out a little bit, and it, the the paddles were in the perfect position. It just was uh, my hands were like this versus like this. With this, it's an actual controller that they just modify. And the buttons, look at that, I'm, this is how I hold the controller. These are the buttons right here. So it fits perfectly, it's amazing, it, it's exactly what I need. This is actually my second controller. Um, and they actually, I, they, I got it with a white bottom, I guess. I, I didn't even realize that, it must have been extra. What a, oops. But, you know, they also give you like this little thing. Um, pretty cool and it shows you everything you have so like rear button type stock rumbles included so there's a lot my old battle beaver controller it wasn't broken but I had to I have to send it back in honest review it lasted about a year actually I've had it yeah I had my first one for about a year and right like a couple days ago I started to realize that my left thumbstick kind of was was or my right thumbstick was moving into the left so my character would kind of sway so that like the gun would sway and I read about it and it's actually very common when they take the rumbles out it may or may not interfere with the mechanisms inside the controller so I decided to go the opposite route this time and get the rumbles in it actually feels a little bit better it feels like a, a heavier kind of like it it makes it feel a little bit smoother um, now, again with this, my paddles are set, or my buttons are set up as this. So my left paddle, this one, is set up as my jump button. My right button is set up as my crouch button. I have it set up that way because when I jump, I want to be able to aim with my right thumbstick and not have an interference of working both at the same time. So when I jump on my left, I still have perfect control over here, if that makes sense at all. The other control, the other one that I had was right jump, left crouch. And it was kind of giving my aim like a little bit to the left shot, like a jump shot to the left. And it was kind of awkward. Uh, I got used to it because I've been playing that for so long, but I have to get it on the other side now so I can have an even better shot, better accuracy and aim. Um, if you play McCree on Overwatch, this is for you. If this, you play Hanzo, this is for you. Um, Genji, this would be great too on Overwatch. But if you play Call of Duty, this is the setup you want. Left, X, right, circle. Um, recommend this over Scuff. 10 out of 10 recommend. You just gotta get it and try it. I mean, it's 98 bucks for the bottom line for two buttons. You can't beat that. And maybe you can use code BURST. But I don't know. They don't use my code BURST. I don't actually have a code BURST. Um, but there are a lot of codes out there as of right now that you can find for your Battle Beaver controller and they'll give you like 5 or 10% off. I'm not exactly sure. This is my second one. I've paid full price for these because I love them so much. I've, I've been with Scuff, I've had Scuff, I hated it. I went to Battle Beaver and I fell in love. 
dude. I fell in love with it as soon as I got it. By far one of the best controllers. I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I didn't really cover it in that much detail. This is kind of just like an honest review, honest video, uh, like a quick, you know, informative video of what the controller is and why I got it. Now, there are a lot of other videos on YouTube that can go into more depth of these videos, maybe even a better video than mine, but you know, I'm more of a fitness blogger, but I'm going to be doing a little bit more of Call of Duty gameplay because I, you know, I love you all and I want to make sure I'm giving you guys a variety of content. So, you know, get this controller, try it out, tag me in the video, retweet this video or share it. Come on, let people know what, they, what they're missing. Battle Beaver controllers. Let's get this, hold on. They usually give me, it says, unleash the beaver. I feel like X-Men right now. Get it, okay? Trust me, get the battle beaver. You won't regret it. You you literally won't regret this controller. It's kind of cool, you can customize it completely how you want. There's so many, just link in bio of, of battlebeaver.com. Click it, check it out, and just, just use it, just try it. Don't go to scuff, go to battle beaver. Give you guys an exclusive sneak peek of the BattleBeaver.com controller. Go Beavers! Bodybuilding Beaver controller might come out soon. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have my own controller, the Bodybuilding Beaver. It's gonna literally be a controller with the design of like a guy flexing, just a muscle. A muscle flexing. That'd be so cool. Come on, you guys gotta make that for me. Alright, Battle Beaver controller, 10 out of 10 recommend. Second controller, I still use my, my other one, it's gonna be my travel one. This is gonna be my, or no, I can't, this is my only one. Um, my other one is just gonna be kind of there. But, you know what, here, I'm gonna go get it. You don't trust me, watch. I'm back, all right, see, two. See the other one? Right there, button, button, two controllers. Get it, check it out, I love it. All right, enough of this. My name is Noah. Thank you so much for stopping by this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. Check out my most recent video over here. Thank you all again for stopping by. Check out BattleBeavers.com, and we will see you next time.